going on guys, he's actually here, welcome back to another main channel video. Today, I'm going to be giving a review uh, on yesterday's game uh, between Wolverhampton Wanderers and Millwall. Now, uh, in the end, the game finished 1-0 to Wolves, uh, which I'm very happy about. Uh, uh, it's a brilliant way uh to return from the international break, and uh, it's a brilliant way also uh, to get out um, uh, of this bad form we've been in. Uh, of well, it's not really that bad, but um, uh, we've got two games without a win uh, before this game, and it's nice to get some three points and uh, get back to winning ways. Uh, I just want to say thank you for the support um, on the preview video uh, that I made. It's got 57 views as I'm recording this now, so thank you very much um, for that. But yeah, um, I think it's it's a game that I, what I expected really. Just, just can I say what a goal it was in the tenth minute from uh, uh, Diana Hotter. What a goal that was! Um, I wa I watched it on like the highlights video, um, on the Wolves channel, and what a goal that was! Absolutely amazing. Um, I think it, it was a, as good as that Cavalero goal that he scored. Um, that Cavalero scored in pre-season against Leicester City. I think it matches, if not tops it just oh, what a goal that was uh, from Diana Hotter um, uh, absolutely incredible uh, from about 25 30 yards out about 25 yards out what just pinged it into the bottom left what a goal that was um, I'll, I'll show it to you now might open up for a strike, no one's going to him! Oh, and they'll regret that! What a strike by Diogo Hotta! I just... I, I can't... I can't... I, I'm lost for that. Where's for that goal? It wasn't that amazing, but it was <laughs> quite good. It was quite good. Um, yeah. And also in the game, we had a red card as well. Uh, Millwall went down to 10 men uh, as well. Um, a, bit, a, bit like, uh, a bit like Cardiff. Um, Millwall are that kind of team. Uh, they're, quite, um, they're quite aggressive. And, and they're one of the teams in the division that I'd say, uh, if 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 you would uh, pick a team to have uh, a person sent off, it would probably either be Millwall or Cardiff, probably, because th those are quite f physical teams uh, in the championship right now. Uh, and um, yeah, um, they went down to ten men around about sixty minutes into the game or something. Um, so yeah, they had to play the last half an hour with ten men. But yeah, the, yesterday's game, I think, was a perfect way to come out uh, out of the international break. And and uh, obviously Millwall Millwall um, were on a high after beating Norwich four uh, nil before the international break. Uh, so I think the international break came at a wrong time for Millwall because they'd just come off uh, of a four 0 win against Norwich, which um, should really be challenging for promotion, but aren't really at the moment. Um, uh, they aren't really at the moment. Uh, so yeah, um, a a great way uh, to come out of the international break, um, and hopefully on Tuesday night. Uh, we can get another three points at home to Bristol City. 
But anyway, if you did enjoy this review, uh, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you hopefully, hopefully, um, on Wednesday maybe with a review of the Bristol City game. Until then, goodbye guys!